Ah, yes. Persona 6. I thought of that the day would never come. It hasn't come yet. Um, I don't know if I was confused with that. Uh, I'm sorry, it's your boy show. Welcome back to another video. So, um, Dream Sequel. Of course, Dream Sequel is a little series I like to have out. You know what I'm saying? It talks about games that need a sequel. And talk about what we can see from that sequel. Um, today we got a very special guest. <laughs> Uh, Persona 6, which would be the sequel of Persona 5, so you're probably going to see a lot of Persona 5 footage in this video, so uh, stay tuned for that. Uh, of course, nothing has been announced. Dream Sequel is just something that's really hypothetical, and just talking about what you know, what I would like to see in the next installment of a series or a franchise or a game or whatever it may be, but Persona 6, it's been very overdue, you know, not the game itself, because Persona, I feel like Persona is fairly... Persona 5 is still fairly fairly new in terms of Atlas standards. Um, Persona, for me personally, let me talk about my history real quick. Uh, Persona 1 and 2 I haven't played. I've played through 3, I played through 3 on the PS2, I played through 3 on the PSP, uh, I played 4, the original 4, I played 4 Golden, I played 5, and I played 5 Royal. Uh, so I pretty much have anything from 3 on, and that includes the rhythm games. I play the rhythm games, I play Persona Q, um, I've played, uh, what's some other one? Persona Arena. You know, I've played pretty much all the Persona games in general. I really like the franchise. I really think the franchise is unique and fantastic. I, I really can't see how people might not be able to get into it, but in a way, I kind of understand. You know, if you're not really with the, uh, air of mystery and stuff, you're not really going to care about it. You know, uh, with, you know, certain midnight hours or midnight channels or, what was it in Persona 5 again? I don't think it was any type of midnight anything. They just kind of went into the into the zone, you know, the mementos and the you know castles and palaces and stuff. I feel like Persona has the one theme, you know. They have the theme where you can summon your Persona, and after that, you know. But oh, well, they do have a theme, another theme, and that's school. They always take place in school. Uh, other than that, though. It feels like the stories between all all three of the games I've played are so vastly different. Yes, they all take place in school. Yes, you know, it all deals with, um, like, Summoner and the Persona and, you know, uh, the Blue Room and Igor and all of them is all, always involved. But, yeah, it, all, it always seems like Atlas or whoever makes the game, honestly, I'm not, I don't know, I'm not well informed. But it always seems like it's absolutely fantastic. Every single story that they decide to do seems so vastly different from the other ones. Um, and I remember somebody explaining it to me in a video or something I watched. And I don't really know because I don't want to misquote it. But they talked about how each persona actually personifies something. Um, I think they said Persona 3 uh, personifies like the darkness and stuff. And um, of course everything that happened with Persona 3, you guys know. Yeah, I'm not going to spoil anything. Um, as far as Persona 4, it was like the, you know, the summertime, hanging with friends and enjoying yourself and stuff. Um, and when they said it to me, the way I'm saying it to you now is definitely not the way they said it to me. But the way they said it to me made a lot of sense. And I thought, okay, that's definitely something that, is, that drives each Persona, um, you know, to have such that unique story. They always take that topic and probably just wrap around it. And that, that sounded so, you know, so great. So... As far as Persona 5, I think they said something about, like, being locked down in society or something. It, it, was, it was really kind of deep. Um, you know, it was something, somebody analyzing the game. I never looked at the Persona that way before. But in terms of Persona 6, man, what could we even see? Like, it's so hard to visualize to, to myself, like, okay, what would a Persona 6 even look like? Um, you know, they might end up being in some old, uh, you're, you know, different. Uh, they might be in America or something. Something like crazy like that. That would actually be kind of crazy, right? Because, you know, all the games have taken, taken place in, like, Japan. They've taken place in the school in Japan. So, wouldn't it be crazy if they, like, do a game in America? Like, with American schools? That would be insane. It, it probably wouldn't They probably wouldn't make it, though, because then it kind of kills some of the aesthetic of uh, Persona. Persona 5 really lets you live like a uh, Japanese student. Now, I actually know if they, that's how they live. You know, I don't want to step on anyone's toes. Because I'm pretty sure they don't, you know, summon out Personas and... Uh, live in basements and stuff, but or attics because technically it's an attic. But I mean, in general, like Persona 6 would definitely have upgraded, it, it would definitely be next gen, so it would look fantastic. I think Persona 5 looks fantastic in, in general, um, just the way just the way the graphics are in, in, in general. 
you know the game is so stylish like every menu has its own little flair and that's oh man i'm turning this into a review of persona 5 which i really don't want to do i just whenever i talk about the game i want to bring out good things about it because it's absolutely fantastic but like i said in terms of uh, persona 6 i don't know what route they can go with the story um i suspect that they'll have a um i suspect they'll have pretty much the same character roster at least like the same amount i'm thinking they might end up going to a smaller route sort of like um sort of like how they did with uh, another J uh, JRPG called Trails Coast Steel. When they came out with the thing, they kind of have a smaller route. Uh, it would be interesting to see Atlas go in a different direction with their spinoffs. Uh, what I mean by that is, okay, look at Final Fantasy. Final Fantasy has a new game, and every new game is a different entity. And I feel like some games actually do kind of run together. But at the same time, that's what makes Final Fantasy great. They have the same kind of quality that um, you know that these games have, uh, where they kind of feel different. Like, every world that you venture to kind of feels different. When, you know, you boot up Final Fantasy X, you know, it feels different than Final Fantasy XII or Final Fantasy VII. Or, you know, they all might have the general, you know, uh, edgy teens and stuff in them. But as far as, you know, it's an entirely different story, it feels like it's fresh. But, like I said, it would not, it would be really interesting to see them go, like, uh, the Final Fantasy route where you know, they did, like, X and then X2 or... Um, you know, just create sequels to their games, cause you know we get to we get to pretty much play in a hundred hours campaign with this whole group of of characters and stuff, and and then of course, of course Royal comes out and you kind of want to do it all over again, but I mean as far as that, I just felt like we should get a little bit more time with the previous protagonists and stuff, but then I get it, the game's been out for a couple of years now I believe, so I definitely could understand why it would be an issue to you know really continue that storyline anime didn't do so well um anime didn't do well and everybody knows why the anime didn't do well so it's not really no shocker there but uh, i want to know what you guys know what would you like to see for persona 6 i know one thing i'd like to see if you mentioned this video, i would like to see a main character persona is actually useful during the whole game i would love to see that now thanks for watching guys like subscribe and i'll see you guys next video mm -hmm.